Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I thought we'd look at smartphone USB tethering to an OpenWRT router. So for this I'm going to be using the Lynx's E3200. This used to be my main router for about the last six years up until about three weeks ago when I replaced it. I've also got the iPhone SE which just has a, a 4G SIM and we're going to see if we can connect those up and get a tether working. Right, so we've just factory reset our router. It's been up for a few minutes. So our guide says installation for iOS 12 devices. We need to OPKG update. So we'll just run that in our SSH window, which I already have open. That will update all the software packages which we're about to install. So if we just copy that command there to install the USB modules. Speaking of which, I'm going to need the USB lightning adapter. USB lightning cable acquired. Right, the modules are installed. So let's just pop the USB cable in the router and the other end in the phone, like that. No sound. <laughs> Usually makes a little sound when you plug it in. Hmm. This has gone well. Let's execute this command. Error. Child process exited with error one. Check syslog for messages. Right, gonna have to look into this. Okay, remembering this router from a while ago, if we install the USB 2K mod, that might bring it back up. So we'll just do opkg install K mod USB 2. There you go, don't know if you heard it. The phone's lit up and it's made a sound, so that's a good start. So let's just run that command again. You should get the trust prompt on your phone, which I have not. Help! <laughs> Where's the trust prompt? It's literally just appeared now. Trust. There we go. Trust this computer, pop your passcode in. Right, that should now share the Ethernet interface over USB. There it is, F1. So let's just check what the guide says. It says create a new interface, call it tethering one and set it as DHCP. So I'm just gonna call the interface 4G and we're going to set it as DHCP submit that it also says to add the interface to the one zone save and apply there's our new interface but without an IP address <laughs> so something's not right there Um, yeah, so if we go to our settings, personal hotspot, and then enable personal hotspot. That should be it. Straight away there, we've just got an IP address. So our 4G interface is recognized by the router. So let, let's just unplug the one interface. And I'm just going to restart that just to show you that there is no cable plugged in. Oh, it's, it's got no address now. So we're on the IPv version 4 address from my phone. So we'll just open a new private window. It works. <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't expecting that to work. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you as always in the next one.